that he or she intended. So Imam Bukhari understood this and he realized that an amazing book that he knows people will read, he's reminding himself and all the readers the most important thing in our, in our affairs is to begin with niyyah, which is nothing other than taqwa, is to be aware of Allah and know why you're doing what you're doing. If your niyyah isn't correct, it doesn't matter what you do. The most important thing is to have that intention in the beginning and to do our things or our affairs or our conducts or our deeds correctly. So this is really the secret. Um, so look at, you know, read the verses of Qur'an, read the hadith of the Prophet wasallam, read the guidance of our Prophet on all these affairs and every specific detail. When you look at how we begin and end things, it's the same thing. You'll find different manifestations of the same lesson. Between taqwa and between shukr. So may Allah give us tawfiq. Uh, I can't go on. So I have a question. Yeah. When uh, Surah Nasr was revealed right after Fatih Makkah, right? When, when did no, that... No, it wasn't right after. It was some time after. So, uh, well, when did that incident exact? Do we know exactly when that happened? When with Omar ibn Khattab? Yeah. No, that's in Abdul, No, Abdullah ibn Abbas. Yeah, that's in his khilaf. Okay, so this the is time. Okay, so the, this is way later. This is when he was a Khalif, many, many decades later. So they were just looking back and reflecting over why the surah was revealed. So, they, so the surah was, people think it's from, uh, it's about Fatwa Makkah, you know, where it was revealed, right? It wasn't, it was revealed some time after that. So it's a general surah. The deeper meaning is um, the Prophet's life was about to end. When a Prophet's, a prophet's mission, a Nabi's mission is, only to convey the message. When that mission is complete, his life is over. That's, that's the principle when it comes to the lives of the prophets. So this surah, according to Ibn Abbas, was telling the prophet his life was about to end. So it wasn't Fatr Makkah, because it, it's still two years uh, prior to that. So it's much later. So it's a general lesson about every victory. It includes Fatr Makkah and the meaning. But it's really about the prophets, so it was revealed much later. So, so Omar used to bring up the Levin Abbas and Gadrin. as a Khalifa, yeah, as in in Gadrin. Yes, and he and he was, was still so. Imagine this: when Omar was a Khalifa, Ibn Abbas is still so young. People are getting upset. <laughs> so imagine how young he was when the Prophet was alive. So large. So that shows you how young they were, they were pre-teens in the time of the Prophet. Um, so that's amazing. Any other tips for Ramadan? <laughs> Three minute tip. <laughs> I like that tattoo. <laughs> <laughs> My problem when I give hutba, like people bring the watch, right? It's time. And they give me the time, like you still have to go, people have are coming late. It's, it's not time for prayer yet. I have to find things to say.